Today, we're trying a new art supply. It's been a while since we have tested a new art supply, one that I have never tried before on my channel, so let's hop into this. So I have been eyeing oil paint sticks for a really long time. I never really decided to get them because they're so expensive and I felt like, well, what if I don't like them? Like, this is a stupid investment, but Every time I go to the art store, I go and I look at these and I feel like they could really add some character to my paintings. So today I just want to try them out, see what we think. What if it ends up being a good experience? And if it's not, then that's okay. It's okay to not like everything, right? <laughs> With that being said, here's the lovely oil paint sticks. Now I want to do a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. I am not a review channel at all. If you want to know more educational art things, if you want to know ASTM readings, if you want to know what materials and pigments and stuff are in art supplies, I recommend looking elsewhere. I'm just an entertainment channel and I'm here to have fun with you and create with you. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm showing you my first impression. I did research these a little bit so that I had an idea of what I was getting into because with an investment like this, I just wanted to know a little bit more about it. You can treat it as an oil paint stick and use it in that way or you can use additives. Like I have walnut oil here. I might experiment with this. I have seen videos where people bust out their paint brushes and yeah, they start using it like paint. So I don't know, we'll play around. There's a lot of different ways you can use this. You're not limited to just using it like a stick, which I think that's the beauty of these. Ooh, this is so fun. I already have some canvases that are toned because I've been doing a ton of art lately. Haven't been talking about it a ton, but you're gonna see a lot of things come to life soon. Let me just get some paint brushes in case I want them. These are my oil paint brushes. Mm, not this one. Okay, I got some that I am quite fond of. Got my little homemade paint blotter. It's just this thing. I made a ton of these and I've been meaning to put them in my shop for folks who've just seen me using these in my videos. I just make them, um, but it's a nice sustainable way of saving paper towels. This is King's Blue. What a beautiful color. What a beautiful color, I mean. <laughs> So, mm, look at this. The packaging is just, wow. It definitely smells like oil paint. So yeah, these are binded together with linseed oil and natural waxes and it's real oil paint. So I think this will be a really neat experience. I'm curious like about how soft or hard it's gonna be. It lists the pigments and everything on here. I'm just gonna do this. You know what I did? learn some things with this. So with some brands, there's like this wax film that you have to remove first if it's dried. Okay, we're doing an ocean scene. I'm not gonna open all of these right now. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm saving all these tubes too. <sighs> I'm so excited for this. I don't know how chaotic this video is gonna be because this is a first impression, but welcome. I hope you <sighs> enjoy this. And if any of you have been thinking about using these, I don't know, I hope this first impression video is entertaining, helpful, whatever. I am going to just uh, do the sky first. Oh my goodness. Yo, this is so smooth. I can't, um, what? This is not like what I imagined at all. Like, I don't know what I was thinking this would be like. This was not it. Let's keep opening these. We have ultramarine pale blue. It's almost like white. I'm just gonna do some clouds. I think I want to try using this in stick form first. This one has the wax. I watched an educational tutorial on this and yeah, this one has that wax piece. There you go. It's just dried wax. Makes it usable. So you can tell what part is wet and what part is dry right now. Isn't that sweet? Clouds. Wow, this is so satisfying. I really was afraid I would hate this. <laughs> I love it so far. Let's do some more sky. This goes on so smooth and thin. It's it's surprising to me. 
Like I barely have to press and it's, it just feels like an adult crayon. Wow. It's a lot creamier than an oil pastel, in my opinion. Curiosity is getting the best of me and I really need to try using a paintbrush on these just to see what it's like. Wow, it's very spreadable. Why have I never tried these before? I should have just done this like years ago. Why didn't I do this sooner? That's, that's my regret so far. Now I need to try to do the ocean. <laughs> it's the little things in life, you know? Get excited. Burnt sienna. Okay, so I have the shore to do. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this and smear it around later. This is so cool for an impressionistic painting. My goodness. Creating is so fun. If you're scared to create, I highly encourage you to just experiment like this. Not a lot of pressure, it's all good. If it doesn't turn out, it's okay. You tried, proud of you anyway, you know? Cobalt turquoise. All right, I have this lovely turquoise. Oh my goodness, it's so buttery smooth. Like, wow. Wow, this is so cool. I'm gonna use a little bit of it down here in the sand too. Look at this, it really blends beautifully. Okay, so the water up here is like really turquoise. Oh my goodness, this is so smooth. Phthalo green, pale, so nice, I love it. That's good. I'm gonna bring a little bit of this in here. A little bit of that. This is not what I expected, like, at all. It's so easy to blend. It feels like actual paint. I guess I'm just pleasantly surprised because I am an optimist through and through. You folks know that I'm a very, I just look for the good in everything type person. But with this, I was a skeptic. I really was. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this <sighs> because I hate oil pastels and I think you guys already know that. But uh, yeah, this, this is something. Much enjoyed. Like blending, look how easy this is. Gonna make it a little darker, but it'll be good, it'll be good. Okay, so down here, wait, I need to do this. Not even used all these colors yet. Uh, let's see Naples yellow. Maybe this will be cool for the sand. It honestly feels so good to just be experimenting right now with different art supplies. I did a haul in my last video and ooh, you wanna see something satisfying? Let's just cut this little wax piece off. That's the dry part. It's the skin. That's what it's technically called, the skin. Anyway, it feels so good to just experiment with this. I'll blend all of this down here. Okay, so I have an idea with this. I think I need to go back and get more colors and do a giant impressionistic flower painting. This is so fun. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just amazed at how this feels. I don't know how to express it to you, but this stuff feels so cool. This is gonna be really bad for my bank account because I'm going back. I'm just gonna do like some thin washes of color here and there with this cause it's gonna show through all of the sea foam that you're gonna see in a couple minutes.
Okay, this looks pieced together right now, <laughs> but it's about to change. Cerulean gray. This reminds me of The Devil Wears Prada. If you've ever seen that movie, you know what line I'm talking about. Cerulean blue, anybody? Yeah? Okay, this is the fun part. I'm gonna start like adding texture. Let's add some movement to this water. Wow, <laughs> this is so cool. Wow, okay. I really like this for achieving impressionistic artwork, like a lot. Okay, I need to start adding sea foam. Okay, add some waves up here. There's some splashing happening here. Oh, it just feels like I'm in the water. I'm here. I think as artists, we can make out art to be the stressful, you have to get it right thing. But then there's times like this where it just feels like an adventure. Like I feel like I can imagine myself splashing in these waves right now, letting go of all my stress. Why have stress when I'm trying to remind people of a thing that we go to to get rid of our stress? Makes art a lot more enjoyable if you let go. So glad. I decided to try this. I'm gonna add a little bit of color in the sand for like the sky reflecting off of wet sand. You know what I'm talking about? I thoroughly enjoyed this. Wow. This entire art project was a pleasant surprise. When I went to Blix and I got these oil painting sticks, which by the way, I didn't even use all of them. There's three of them that I didn't even use. But anyway, when I went to Blix and I got these, I really thought I'm probably gonna be disappointed, but I'm just gonna do this so I can get it out of my system. That was not the case. I really, really, really loved this. Here's my impressionistic ocean Scene. There is so much texture in this painting though. The sticks are just very smooth and creamy. They're easy to blend, they're easy to layer, they're easy to like press light if you want it to go on smoothly. But you can also press really hard and get those like textured, moody brush strokes. I'm gonna wait for this to dry a little bit before I paint the edges. I usually paint the edges of all my canvases. You folks know that but I just wanted to let you know. Like with oil paint, I usually let the painting sit and dry for a while. This isn't supposed to be a review. As I said, it's like a first impression. My first impression was great. I wanna do this again. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing more artwork with these really cool oil paint sticks. If there's any takeaway I want you to get from this video, it's this. If there's any art supply or creative thing out there that you have been aspiring to do. It doesn't even have to be drawing or painting. It could be, you know, ceramics, a dance class, playing piano, anything like that. It's still creative and you're afraid to do it, but you've always wanted to do it. Try it. Maybe you'll be pleasantly surprised and glad that you broke out of your shell and did something new. I. I have been wanting to try these sticks for a good two or three years. And I've always told myself no, because each stick is like 
pretty pricey. And I'm really glad I did it because I feel like I just unlocked this other creative compartment of my brain or something. I'm really happy now. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a beautiful day.